Okay, here's the question. This has got a lot of pieces to it, so listen carefully. If someone sends you an email message and they blind carbon copy someone else, when you reply to that email message, is the person who was blind carbon copy going to get your reply? Let's set this up. I'm going to send an email message. Now, mind you, to pay attention to my email accounts, I'm in. I'm in teddyburris at gmail.com. I'm going to send an email message to BCI Testing, which is Burris Consulting at Gmail. I'm going to blind carbon copy TL Burris at burrisconsulting.com. So the message is coming from Teddy Burris at Gmail. It's going to Burris Consulting at Gmail and blind carbon copying T.L. Burris at Burris Consulting. Hey, Teddy. Let's talk. Let's see what happens. Here's the message I sent, again, from Teddy Burris at Gmail to BCI or Burris Consulting at Gmail and blind carbon copy Teddy T.L. Burris at Burris Consulting. Let's go look at the BCI. Here's the message. So you can see it came from Teddy Burris at Gmail, which is not a fake account. It got sent to Burris Consulting at gmail.com. And remember, T.L. Burris at burrisconsulting.com was blind carbon copied. This guy doesn't know it. So the question is, if you respond back to this, will it also go to the person who was blind carbon copied? Let's set it up and test. I'm going to hit reply. By the way, I can't hit reply all. So it's not, it, the system thinks there's only one email address here. I'm going to reply all and go, who did this? also go to and I'm gonna hit send because I'm trying to find out if it went to anybody else besides who it's addressed to I'm gonna hit send let's go look at who it went to right here boom here it is right here this is the email message that got sent out to Burris Consulting blind carbon copy TL Burris at Burris Consulting and this and it got in BCI responded back right here BCI responded back and it came to Teddy Burris at Gmail that's where I am and look, it didn't go to anybody else. That's the only person it went to. And there is that question, who did this also go to? The response is, uh, nobody. But let's go look at the T.L. Burris at Burris Consulting, the blind carbon copied email. Here it is. This is the blind carbon copied. This is where, you know, T.L. Burris at Burris Consulting, that's where I am right now, T.L. Burris at teddyburris.com or Burris Consulting. It, it got sent from Teddy Burris at Gmail, to Burris Consulting at Gmail, and there's where T.L. Burris is blind copied, blind carbon copy, but he did not get the email from BCI where he sent back the message said, who else did this go to? Bottom line, if someone sends you an email and they blind carbon copy anyone, when you reply back to that message that was sent to you, the people who were in the BCC line will not get your reply. That is fact. But there's another piece of this that's important to understand. This message got sent to, right here, to, to B, uh, Burris Consulting. It got sent from Teddy Burris at Gmail. And the person who's looking at it right now, Teddy Burris or T.L. Burris at teddyburris.com or Burris Consulting, same thing, is BCC. If, this, if I reply right now, it's only going to go back to Teddy Burris at Gmail. But look at this, you gotta be aware of this. If I reply all, it's gonna go not only to Teddy, Teddy Burris at Gmail, but also Burris Consulting at Gmail, right here, both of them. But I'm replying all and this guy doesn't know I got the message. So I recommend that you be careful re using reply all if you were on the BCC line. You really don't want to reply all because you don't want this person knowing that this person sent an email to them and blind carbon copied you. Look at this a little deeper. Most importantly, be very careful using reply all if you are in the BCC line of an email. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail. Really hope this makes sense and is helpful to you.